Hey, hey, how's it going, everyone? So this video is gonna be doing Inspire Me Crate stuff. So I got the Inspire Me Crate box for uh, the month of August, and I wanted to do this little warm-up exercise. It's got all these little, like, uh, shapes, and uh, you can make, like, little characters out of them and stuff. I always like doing stuff like this, so um, I, I figure for once we'll start out in the workbook, like, doing one of the little warm-up exercises. If you haven't seen Inspire Me Crate before, it's a little box you can get either as a subscription or like a monthly, like each each uh, each month you get one or you can do just like one-time boxes or whatever. And it comes with uh, booklets with all sorts of like uh, drawing exercises and warm-up prompts and stuff like that, as well as a whole bunch of uh, art supplies too. So you get a whole bunch of cool stuff in there and uh, it's a really great service. So if you haven't seen it before, that's that's what it is. But chances are you, you've seen it before because I post these videos all the time because I really like doing it. So yeah, I, I think this looks like a weird like alien jellyfish type of thing. Um, so I was kind of like, it remind, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the uh, Martians in Metal Slug. If any of you played those those games like in the arcade or whatever, SNK games, they had these like weird shaped heads and like these tentacles below them. And that's what that made me think of. You know, I like I like just um, doing doing shape prompts like this because you just draw like the first thing that comes to your head. It's kind of brainless, but it's a fun kind of a fun exercise. I think I always have fun with these. So there's a little alien jellyfish man, and uh, I may not do all these. I'll probably just do a few to warm up. But you got a whole page of these. You could even make your own shapes. You got a whole page of these. You just do like one or two to warm up, and then uh, move on, and then do some more later. Um, and I'm using a uh, colored pencil that came with the the box for August. It's a Tombow Erosion 10 colored pencil. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's a really it's a really nice colored pencil. Uh, it's kind of like right in between soft and really hard. It's it's pretty balanced. It's it's nice. This looks like kind of like a weird bug face, like a wasp face to me. So I'll make a little wasp man. Those and tenors, and tenors. So they got some cool stuff in this in this box, and I'll talk more about the cool stuff they got. It got a big old marker, tube of paint, and a brush, which looks really cool. So I'm gonna try those out too. I'm gonna do a little sketch after I warm up with some of these little like imaginary friend guys. So so far I have a, a alien jellyfish and a horrible wasp man for my imaginary friends. I'm doing pretty good so far, I think. The wasp in here. Yeah, I really like this colored pencil. One thing I really like about Inspire Me Crate, well, it kind of looks more like a praying mantis almost. I don't know, wasp praying mantis type of thing. But uh, pardon me. Um, yeah, this we put like a like a neck on there or something like that. I really like the Inspire Me Crate because there've been like several months that have like a different colored pencil, so I've gotten to try a bunch of different colored pencils, which is great because I love colored pencils and I'm always trying new ones until I find like the perfect one. Yeah, he's like mantis. He reminds me of a mantis. That's what he looks like to me. And then this, this, I, I was looking at this one. I make him like a like an amoeba guy. I wanted to make like a little fireball dude because it looks like a little like flame to me. I think he's like a will o wisp or something. I don't know. This little flame dude. Yeah, a little fireball man. It's just like, I love, this is really fun. I love doing these. Especially, I, was, I think I lucked out when I got the red colored pencil too, because it goes really well with the orange. I, these are printed in the booklet. I didn't make those shapes, in case you were wondering. Um, so I'm just drawing on top of the ones that are printed. But it looks pretty cool with the red. You can have like little, you have like little feet, right? Got little fireman feet. Neat, that was fun. All right, cool, so I'm just gonna do like a little, I'm gonna try out these materials here and uh, just, I don't, I don't know, see, see what I come up with. Um, a lot of times uh, you get stuff in the boxes that you maybe have never used before or don't, don't use normally, so I always, I always have fun, you know, because I don't use markers all that often, I don't use acrylic paint all that often, um, so, so it's always kind of like an adventure for me. Trying new stuff is always fun. Uh, you just playing around and stuff like that. It's good, good stress relief. I don't know. I think it's cool. 
always helps me with artist block just by trying some new stuff. So we got this, uh, what is this? I forgot what the brand was. Oh, it's just, yeah, it's a weird, it's like Dine Out, Dine something like that. It's a weird, it's this. Just look at the thing. You see that? Dine dual tip marker. But uh, it looks cool. I got a gray one, so I'm gonna play around with that a little bit. Maybe do my sketch. It's one of those ones that's got like a, a little fine tip point and then like a chisel tip on the other side. I think this one is, uh, what does it say? What does it say? Yeah, it's, al it's an alcohol based. Whoops, okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut that. Uh, but you, you don't have to know that. I don't know why I'm saying it right now. Um, yeah, don't worry about it. Anyway, hey, it's the sa same video, same video, nothing happened. Um, yeah, so, oh wow, <laughs> that's I'm not expecting it to be that heavy. But here we go. Just gonna sketch some stuff out and see what happens, man. Uh, I like playing with big markers. I have no idea what I'm doing when I do, but I know it's fun, so that's all I really need to know. Plus I have a bunch of different kind of those, uh, <laughs> kinds, kinds of those, kinds of markers. I have a bunch of different kinds of markers now from Inspire Me Create as well, just like with the colored pencils. And markers aren't something I would normally use, so it's been really cool to uh, experiment with some different stuff that I wouldn't normally get for myself. Um, and I, I try to talk about that every time I get one of these crates because I think that's like a really cool uh, feature of this this service is you kind of just get whatever they send you. And it's I, th I think it's cool that way because you get stuff that maybe you wouldn't normally expect or you know something you wouldn't normally pick out for yourself or maybe even something that you can't like find in your area. That's when it's really cool. Because there's definitely some stuff that I've got. I'm like, whoa, I didn't even know this existed. Like, never seen it. You know, never seen it online or anything like that. So, pretty cool stuff. I uh, really like this marker. And I liked uh, a little little while ago they had this, like, chameleon blending marker. That was really cool. If you look back through my videos, you'll be able to find that one, too. Um, I did a video with that one. And I played with that a whole bunch. Made a big old mess, but, hey, I had a good time. So, that is what is important. Um, so inspire me create. I know you guys are watching this Andreas um, Hey, hello. Thanks. You guys do cool stuff Keep doing keep doing that cool stuff Being being cool and all that. Thanks for everything that you do um, So I usually well, I don't remember if I did last time or not, but certainly the time before that um, I did like an arbitrary review of the box and I think um, now's the time to do that again because I really I like the story prompt in this in this month, but I wanted to do I wanted to do something a little bit different because normally I do something um, based off of the story prompt, and so I wanted to try out like the exercises and stuff because I don't normally do those, um, and I thought some of the exercises were really cool this month. There's in the in the warm me up booklet. There's the the one that you saw in in the earlier in the same same video. Um, you saw that one and then uh, there's other ones where it basically gives you these like connect the dot points to, like draw things in perspective Which is really really cool because you get to practice drawing in perspective You don't even know like how you don't even need to know like the rules of perspective. It basically just lays it out for you So it's really good practice um, This marker is fantastic. I'm having a great time So I want to try out some of those exercises and there's this other really neat one where um, it gives you these like headlines like clickbait headlines and uh, you, you, the prompt is to draw like what happens next, you know, like girl gives a meal to a homeless man and you won't believe what happens next. And you like draw, you get to draw what happens next. It's like a clickbait thing. That'd be kind of fun to do. Lots of really, really cool inventive, inventive stuff. Cause I, I used to do, you know, warm up prompts like that in like art school and stuff like that. But this, you know, I've. And I've done a lot of those, and I've even, um, you know, Inspire Me Create is coming up with like new, fresh ideas and like new twists on old favorites for for warm up exercises. You know, like drawing a chair in perspective or something like that. So uh, it's really, really, I think, valuable as as a learning tool, and uh, you know, just to expand your vocabulary of stuff you know how to draw, which is something that I like to always talk about, you know, endlessly in like all of my videos because you know i think it's important sorry i'm a little bit sniffly it's still all like smoking junk outside today but we're inside we're drawn having a good time uh, sketching out 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just <laughs> kind of ran with it. Kind of ran with it. Pardon me while I drop everything and act a fool. Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out how you know which end is the chisel, and I kind of just thought that was part of the logo. Neat. I didn't realize that. Cool, cool, cool. So, got a, got a girly in profile here. Let's see. I wanted to see how the red would react with, like, the, the marker. It's going to be interesting to play around with. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Colored pencils are really, really fun. Um, I always I always talk about that because I use colored pencils a lot, so I always like to, you know, just blab about the things that I like. But colored pencils um, are one of my favorite mediums, not only because of just the way they draw and, like, how it feels and stuff, but because they interact um, in, like, tons of different ways with um, different mediums. It's, like, a really good... Really good thing, re colored pencils are really awesome for like experimentation as well as just like, just straight up drawing with them on their own. You know, you can do like colored pencil and acrylic, you know, colored pencil and marker like I'm doing here, colored pencil and watercolor. You know, it's really, really fun to try all those different like interactions because there's so many different artist tools and they all inter, like mediums and, 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 and things like that. And they all interact with each other in different ways. So trying, trying new things, I mean, you just create like infinite number of, of possibility. And that's, you know, art is awesome, man. It's like, there's literally infinite possibilities for, for what you can do with art. So art is beautiful. Make more art. The world needs more of that stuff. So basically, get yourself an Inspire Me crate and play with some colored pencils. You won't regret it, man. You won't, you won't. And I always, uh, if you've watched these videos before, you know I always got the coupon codes and stuff like that. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll list the coupon codes in the description. Um, to get an Inspire Me Crate box, you want to go to inspiremecrate.com. It'll all be listed down there, but while I got nothing else to talk about, I might as well talk about this. Uh, you know, until I think of something else to talk about anyway. Go to inspiremecrate.com, and if you want to get a crate for yourself, you can use my coupon code, which is Merrick007, to save yourself like five bucks off a box or whatever. And like I said, you can do a monthly subscription where you get one every month, or you can do just like a one-time thing. And the prices, the prices are different. You get like a discount for doing the subscription, but, and they always have different promo promotions and stuff like that, but you can always use my code if nothing else. Uh, so yeah, just make sure you're checking out. And if you sign up for like the email newsletter too, they give you a coupon and all that good stuff. So if you're, if you're curious and you're, you know, wanting to get a box for yourself, then uh, make sure you're paying attention to those because, uh, I love the guys that inspire me to create, and they're always, you know, running cool promotions and doing good deals and stuff like that. They're good people, so, you know, support their business and what they do and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I was thinking that uh, for this episode, I'm going to rate it, like I mentioned last time, with, with an arbitrary amount of grilled cheese sandwiches, perfect grilled cheese sandwiches. So if you close your eyes, uh, just for a moment... And imagine, you know, what, what in your inner eye is like the perfect grilled cheese sandwich. And it's just like, you know, whether you like it nice and crispy or like with a bunch of butter, or like lots of cheese, whatever that perfect grilled cheese sandwich is, um, that's how I'm going to review this box. So it'll be just an arbitrary number of grilled cheese sandwiches. Um, and I'm really liking it so far. I really love this colored pencil and the uh, marker as well. It's, it's one of those things that, like, you always get a random color, which I think is really cool. So, like, you don't even know, like, if you know what supply you're going to get, you don't know what color you're going to get still. So, it's kind of fun. Like, I never would have thought to draw, like, red on top of, you know, like, a gray like this. Like, a dark kind of slate, cool gray. Does it say what color it is? Yeah, cool gray two. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Really, really fun. So let's, let's just, just put paint on it. How about that? Like that idea? Put some paint on it. I got this really, like, I looked at this, like, really bright color of, like, what, what does it say? Yeah, magenta. So this is going to be an adventure for sure. But, uh, yeah, let's just, <laughs> let's see what happens here. And you got this, so it's a Liquitex paint, which I've used before, very, very good paint. I am not much of an acrylic painter. And we also got this brush. What brand is this brush? Um, it's something cool. X-Passion acrylic paint, paint brush. I think it's a uh, Taclon, I think. Um, I don't know, it doesn't say. Anyway, it's a paintbrush. I don't know anything about paintbrushes anyway, so there's 
there's different shapes and some are made from different things. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and uh, just say now that I'm going to give one perfectly made grilled cheese sandwich each for the colored pencil and the marker because I very much enjoyed um, using both of those. So one grilled cheese sandwich each, that's two grilled cheese sandwiches for those. Um, I'll give, um, uh, let's say, uh, 10 grilled cheese sandwiches for the warm-ups. This month they're all very, very inventive, very uh, like thoughtful, unique, fresh takes on different exercises I've seen before and some new ones that, um, that I've never seen before. So 10 grilled cheese sandwiches for the warm-ups, which brings our total to 12 grilled cheese sandwiches so far. Um, also, just because my favorite color is pink, magenta isn't exactly pink, but it's closer to pink than uh, a lot of other colors. So I'm gonna give two grilled cheese sandwiches for the fact that I got magenta acrylic paint in my box. Um, because, wait, how many did I say, two? Maybe I said something else, but whatever I said, it's two. So 14, 14 grilled cheese sandwiches total. And we're talking perfect grilled cheese sandwiches, like, like absolutely perfect. Like if you wished, you know, from a genie, like a good genie, if you wished for a grilled cheese sandwich, from a genie, and he was a nice genie, like Robin Williams' genie, you know, and he wasn't one of those genies that, like, secretly tries to mess you up, like, you, you, you wish for a grilled cheese sandwich, and, and you get the grilled cheese sandwich, but that's all you can ever eat for the rest of your life, so you'll eventually get tired of it, you know, like, like, ironic genie stuff, none of, none of that tomfoolery, you know, Robin Williams' genie, super nice, perfect grilled cheese sandwiches, um, no, no strings attached, right, no strings attached. So that's what we're talking about here. So 14 is pretty good. So you got 14 of those so far. Um, you know, and that's, it's that, well, that's, that's where we're at. I love acrylic paint. I never use it um, for like actual painting. I just like to play with it because it's really, it's really fun to just like mess with. So it's got this like, just, I don't know, it's satisfying. It's got this cool consistency and it's like, you can spread it around and like get different textures. It's just it's fun to mess with. Plus it's like, this, this paint is like super bright. Oh, and if you're curious, I'm using a uh, Canson XL watercolor paper. I wanted to do something a little bit heavier because I knew that I was going to be painting and like doing marker on it. So I wanted to use a little bit heavier paper so it could stand up to it. Uh, whatever, I've played with acrylic before on like regular, Paper. This is this is closer like a cardstock feel. Um, if you're not familiar with like watercolor paper, it's a little bit thicker, a little bit more uh, rigid, stiff, however you want to put it. So um, I've used thinner paper, like standard drawing paper, for acrylics and stuff, and it usually ends up wrinkling pretty bad. So I always recommend going with something a little bit thicker. Um, plus, plus uh, watercolor paper is really nice to paint uh, acrylic on, as long as you're not like really, really globbing it on. You know, if you kind of keep it a little bit lighter, like you can still layer on it and stuff and it won't really, won't really wrinkle until you really start saturating the, the page with paint. If you really lay it on there, it'll start getting like a little bit wrinkly, a little bit wrinkly. This is really fun. Plus, this brush has a nice like chisel shape to it. So it's really good for like outlining. Anything with like a chisel shape to it, whether it be a brush or a marker, it's really good for like filling areas in really quick. Because you got the flat edge, you can kind of just like run along the line work. I'm just gonna go nuts here. Hope you guys, hope you guys are okay with that, my dudes. Hope you're doing all right. How you doing? How's it going? You guys thinking about grilled cheese sandwiches? I know I am. I really like grilled cheese sandwiches. They're very good. Fun fact, I learned from people on a stream that in Australia and in some places in the UK, grilled cheese sandwiches are called toasties. Did you know that? If you didn't know that, you are now obligated to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's how it works. I'm just kidding, I don't really care. But thanks for watching the video. You're here, right? So thanks for, you know, coming, hanging out with me, talking to past Merrick. Neat how time travel works. Let's get some more paint.
you could never, never have too much paint. Even though I was just talking about how you could put too much paint on the paper. Some rules are just meant to be broken, right? Not a rule. I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. I'm just thinking about grilled cheese sandwiches. Toasties, sorry. I think Toasties is a much better name. But anyway, Inspire Me Crate is neat. <laughs> so yeah, you should still be able to get August, August Box. I haven't checked um, if it's still in stock. Go to the website, check it out. They have all sorts of other cool stuff on there too. You know, they have like a featured artist thing that they do uh, every month. So you can discover some new artists you might like on there. Go check it out, man. It's a good time. It's a good time. No, you're probably not doing anything right now. You can you can stop watching the video. I'm probably just gonna be doing this for the next like few minutes. So, you know, you won't be missing too much. It won't hurt my feelings. I appreciate you coming here in the first place. You know. This is really fun. I keep saying that. That's okay. I wonder what other cool colors they put in here. Probably all sorts of colors, right? There are lots of different colors. They like buy these in bulk. What's the behind the scenes of Inspire Me Create? Just imagine like a warehouse full of like art supplies. Or like, you know, maybe like a laundry room. I don't know how it goes. But it's really neat. Yeah, you check it, check it out. Check it out. Um, and there's, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, no, I already, I was thinking about the email newsletter. I already talked about that. I'm just like scraping the barrel for things to talk about right now. Um, this paint is cool. I'm going to just go ahead and do two extra grilled cheese, sorry, toasties for, uh, for the paint and the paintbrush. So two, two for the paint and the paintbrush. So that's, uh, six, six, sixteen, maybe? Sixteen toasties, maybe. 16, yeah, 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 because it was 14 before. So six, 16, 16 toasties. Grilled cheese sandwiches. Uh, you know, if you need a translation. Love this color of paint, my goodness. My goodness gracious. Pink is my favorite color, and I can't argue with magenta. It's close enough. Close enough to work. I had no idea. I'm man. Look at this. I'm happy as a clam right now. Just draw, just painting, having a great time. I had no idea what I was gonna draw. I ended up drawing a cool uh, thing, and there was paint involved, and also grilled cheese sandwiches. So 16 grilled cheese sandwiches. Everyone, give a round of applause. Um, that's a lot. I don't know if I could eat 16 grilled cheese sandwiches and or toasties uh, in one sitting. But uh, uh, they might not be good to like put in the fridge either, but like you give them to your friends or like, you know, uh, give them to the homeless people in need. Uh, it's a lot, of, a lot of grilled cheese sandwiches, but uh, you know what they say, with, with great amounts of grilled cheese sandwiches comes a great responsibility. That's the, that's the saying, in case you're wondering. So yeah, uh, save money on the thing. Go to inspiremecrate.com, coupon code Merrick007 to save a few dollars. Draw some you you can draw an alien squid too if you like and get all sorts of neat paints So yeah, do it because it's fun you it's fun. Um, so so yeah, thanks for watching the video everyone <laughs> Sorry, it's just been kind of off the rails, but I had fun playing with stuff. Hope you had fun watching. I appreciate it Just uh, get the thing inspire me create. There's that thing um, This stuff There's a uh, this one's got a hippo SpiderMakeCrate.com, Merrick007. Uh, thanks. Love you guys. Bye.